glad in this day. Amen. This is our resurrection Sunday. This is the Sunday that we believe that our Lord and our Savior got up out of the grave. Amen. With all divine power in the palm of his hand. Hallelujah. In spite of what's going on in our world today, God is still blessing us. Knowing that we're going through a very trying time now that seems like everything is falling apart. But I believe that we just do what the Bible says according to the word of God. And we believe that God cannot fail. There is no failure in God. If there be any failure, it will be within ourselves. Let us pray. Father God, our Lord, our Savior. Lord, we thank you now for what you have done. We thank you for what you're going to do. Now, Father, go ahead and let the word fall upon good ground. Lord, touch the hearts of your people right now. Let them know, Lord, that you have never forgot about us. Lord, that we're still the apple of your eye. Please, Sir Jesus, right now, the world is turned upside down. But, Lord, we know that the answer is in the word of God. Lord, we're looking to the hills when it comes to all of our help because we know that our help comes from the Lord. Now, God, if it be thy will, let today be a day of rejoicing. In Jesus' name we pray. Every heart, say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. 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 There is a word from God today that I would like to share with the people of God to give them some hope and some inspiration to let us all know that God has never forgotten about us. Realizing that this is trying times now, people are going through something because we are confined, we can't move, we can't do what we used to do. But nevertheless, there's one thing we always should do, and that's pray, amen. amen, amen. We should pray in spite of whatever is going on. So if you don't mind now, let us go into the word of God. There's a good word today on this Resurrection Sunday. In the book of Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse number 14. Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse number 14. For you all to say, well, where is that? Chapter seven is right after chapter six. <laughs> verse 14 is right after verse 13 and right before verse number 15. Listen what it says. Very, very important word. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. My Lord, my Lord, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Amen. Amen. What a word, what a word. What a word. If you don't mind today, briefly, just for a few minutes, just for the nation of this world to understand, it's time to pray. Amen. If there ever been a time in our lives that we need to pray, I want to pause and tell you that the time is right now. Prayer has always been the only way that we have ever been able to talk to God is through prayer. Prayer is very important now, my brothers and my sisters, because I like what the word says, that the prayers of the righteous avail much. That means as much power when we all come together collectively and begin to talk to God on behalf of what's really, really going on. Prayer. We need to learn how to pray. Learn when to pray and know what we're praying for. You don't pray just to pray. You pray because God's been good to all of us. Even when it looked like we don't understand that the road is dark, is dreary. I don't know the answer. One thing I know that God hears our prayers. It's time to pray. Look at what he said. If my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray. We got to pray. We got to pray. Seek his face. Seek God. In these prevalent times, we need to talk to God. Tell God all about our troubles. 
No doubt about it, God knows. God cares. And God will answer our prayers. Need to pray now. Pray well, Reverend. Well, Pastor, what am I praying for? I'm praying that God will turn loose his blessings on our world. That God will, will move the stumbling block, move the things that's not pleasing unto God. Help us to humble ourselves and learn how to pray. Too many folk think they're in charge. They're running something. It's all about them. No, it's not about us. It's about God. Got to remember who God is. Who is it? He's our Father. How do you know that? Because He said it. He is our Father. A father never wants to see his children go without, be without, hurt, harm, or danger. A father always makes provisions for his children. We need to pray now. Pray that God will move the dark cloud of sin, hurt, shame that's covering our world now. On every corner of the world, people are dying. Every dimension, every phase, every level, from babies to our seniors, people are dying. Why? Because the church has stopped praying. Don't you know that if you pray right and believe what you pray for, God will answer. That's right, prayer. Yes, he'll answer prayer. He always answer prayer. When was the last time you prayed and honestly talked to God? Told him how you feel? When was the last time you asked God, Lord, what can I do to make things better? In our world, we don't talk to God until we need something from, from God. But don't you know God allows to hear from us without always a request I need? How about every now and then, Lord, I love you because you've been good to me. Tell God, thank you for waking me up. Thank you. For the activities of my limbs, thank you. I'm able to move and have my being, thank you. For eyesight, thank you. That I'm able to hear, thank you. 